Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right behind me, warning screen, just in case. Twitch.com is where you can catch lives and previous lives. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. We do have Patreon where we post five days a week. All right. I don't know if anybody's seen this show yet. Baby Reindeer. It's on Netflix. I was going to wait to watch it on um, Patreon, but I'm sure nobody would have even began to pick this show. I didn't even know it was set in the UK until somebody told me. Um, I watched the whole thing. It's like six, seven episodes. It's, a, it's this lady. She's a stalker. She stalks. All right. This is Pierre Morgan. It's, it's based on a true story. This is Pierre Morgan. He's going to interview the actual lady that was the stalker. <laughs> and if you watch the show, my first thought when I heard she has an interview coming up, I was like, this is so Martha. This is what Martha would do. She would get on here and send a signal somehow. This is Martha. 100%, man. Talk to me, Pierre. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Talk to me. This show is incredible. Baby reindeer. You got absolutely it was obsessed. A good show. Oh, beef curtains. So I did not move. Everybody is talking about baby reindeer. Now fans are trying to find the real people behind the story. Because it doesn't depict real life events. Slowing up. So now, I will, I will let you know that I was not trying to find nobody. Once the show was done, I was done. So but, quickly and so fast all around the world that I, <laughs> I didn't expect it. First of all, why have you decided to go public? When did you know that you... No, you no, feel let's just get to it. Is, is it this? Okay. One of the first things that viewers of Baby Reindeer are told by Netflix is that this is a true story. Not based on a true story or inspired by... It is by a 100% true story. But a true story. It's emphatic about that. The show's writer, comedian Richard Gadd, even plays the lead role himself. Many millions of people across the world have now seen it. It's one of the biggest Netflix shows of the year. And I've watched it all. It's a riveting, emotionally intense drama. Now, I watched it, but I couldn't, like, at some points I had to turn it off sometimes and then come back because I don't know if any of you actually have ever had a stalker. I have. Um, it, it, was, it was a little bit intense. I was like, ah, man, let me turn this off. <laughs> like, not to her extent, but it was still, like, up there. Worthy of all the critical plaudits, it's now receiving. Viewers are gripped by the apparently real-life struggle of a fledgling stand-up comedian who is mercilessly stalked by an older woman, Martha, in a three-year onslaught of harassment. Martha bombards him with tens of thousands of lurid emails, leaving hundreds of voicemails, lurking outside his house, attacking his partner, even confronting his family and friends. Now, Richard Gadd said that he and Netflix had gone to such great lengths to disguise Martha's real identity that she wouldn't even recognize herself. But that yeah. wasn't true. Many people did recognize her very quickly. And the woman at the center of the story was outed online within hours, simply by cross-referencing her posts on social media with those that were used in the show. Other details about her character bear a striking, unavoidable similarity with the real woman now accused of being the crazed stalker Martha. The show raises uncomfortable questions about the line between fact and fiction, fantasy and reality. Another innocent man in the television industry has been falsely accused of sexual assault based on one of the storylines in the drama. Well, Fiona Harvey is the woman outed wow. as the real Martha of Baby Reindeer. She's chosen to confirm her identity because she wants to have a right of reply. And so, in her first television interview... Is it, that's so Martha. You know what I'm saying? Of course Martha wants a chance to reply. She joins me now in the studio. <laughs> Whoa, well, uh, my God, it even looked like her. Bro introduced the reindeer show, said all of that stuff, and she was sitting across. That's tough. 
It's tough. Thank you for joining me, Fiona. Um, first of all, why have you decided to go public? The internet sleuths tracked me down and hounded me and gave me death threats, so it wasn't really a choice. I was forced into this situation. She sounds what do you like hope her to too. achieve in this interview? I came on your show because you're a veteran broadcaster. I think you'll give me a fair hearing. Um, you were persecuted yourself not so long ago. Um, so that's why I've chosen this show. Have you watched the drama? Not at all. I've heard about the courts. She lived it. Why was she watching? Dean, about the jail sentences and all this sort of stuff. But you heard... really haven't watched any of it? I haven't watched any of it. You're not curious to? Uh, no, I think I'm sick. Um, it's taken over enough of my life. I find it quite obscene. I find it horrifying, misogynistic. Some of the death threats have been really... How's it misogynistic? I feel like a lot of women get stalked. Just, just the roles were reversed this time. Terrible online, people phoning me up. You know, it's it's been absolutely horrendous. I wouldn't give credence to something like that, and it's not really my kind of drama. What, when did you know that you were the person being depicted in this? Five years ago on BBC Breaking News, um, I saw uh, Mr Gard had written a play for the Edinburgh Festival and he was hiding, he was holding up um, placards, MP's wife stalker and all of this and he called it Baby Reindeer, that's all I knew and I thought well I've only met this guy two or three times, um, I don't know him. Um, and That's a lie. Look. This guy two or three times. Um, I don't know him. She blinked too many times. Um, and left it at that. I should have possibly jumped into that stage. And when did you know that Netflix were doing something? Uh, two weeks ago. I had just moved flat, so it was two weeks ago past Saturday. And how did you hear? Um, I saw on BBC Breaking News that he'd sold to Netflix, and both he and this character, Martha, this Jessica actress, seemed to be promoting mercilessly. Did you think then it was you that they were depicting? <gasps> At no point I had never seen any promotion. Uh, I thought it was me they were depicting five years ago because of this MP's wife stalker article that had been a number done on me by the, the Sunday Mail 25 years ago when I was going for Donald Dewar's parliamentary seat. So I knew, I had a vague idea then. Um, the Daily Mail then approached me on the Wednesday, um, two weeks ago, so sort of two weeks tomorrow, um, but two weeks ago, if you see what I mean, um, and um, told me that I was getting death threats online, that I'd been outed as Mar Martha, there were TikTok videos. And were you online at all? Because you were before, but are you these days online? Uh, I, I'm, I've come off Facebook as of yesterday. Um, are you on X, what used to be Twitter? Uh, no, I'm not. Because you had an account. Twitter. Yeah, that's right. Um, years and years ago. Um, I'm scared to Google up BBC Breaking News. I'm scared, certainly scared to Google up mm. the Daily Mail um, in case I am on it in some... You need to stay off the internet anyway. You know what I'm saying? Your email should be banned. Bizarre circus. That moment you realised it was you mm -hmm. that they were depicting from what you were reading, the sluice, as you say, had found your mm -hmm. tweets, they compared some of the mm -hmm. phraseology, mm -hmm. they'd done the maths and they worked out this was you that was being depicted. How did that make you feel? Absolutely horrendous. Um, absolutely horrendous. Oh my God, whoever played her, the lady that played her did such a great job. If you watched it, the, the, the tone, the speech, the, the, the mannerisms, all of it, is, it's there. She deserves, she needed an award. Um, I couldn't believe he'd done that. And so long after first meeting, you know, we're talking 10, 12 years ago, um, really horrendous. I didn't know who to trust. I was told by the Daily Mail, don't trust those bleep bleeps in Scotland. Uh, whereas I found John Dingwall of the Daily Record completely wonderful, actually. He's acted with total courtesy. Um, I couldn't believe this had happened. Be careful. I want to play a little clip. This is just mm. some of the reaction to Baby Reindeer sure. from members of the public. She ends up becoming this <laughs> the craziest stalker I've ever seen in my life. And this is all a true this, story. This is all a true story, yeah. Um, and they've found the real woman online. So not, I assume yeah. in the actual thing, they've obviously given her a different name. Mm. It's a... a Just imagine that this is a Coca-Cola or a, a Diet Coke. 
Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. A different woman, but you know what I find? They always they always manage to find a similar looking woman, and the build tends to yeah. be the same. I have I mean, a theory about this, though. I feel like he's done it on purpose because he knew that people would find her, and he wants to make her life yeah, hell a bit. When you hear that, what do you think? Uh, the, the final guy on there, I think, is correct. I think he always wanted this to come out to persecute someone, to take attention away from him and this rape allegation, and. Hold on, what allegation was that? I just generally think he's got extreme psychiatric problems. I mean, there's no doubt he has problems. I mean, if you watch the... Given that he's written it about himself, mm. the, if you watch the, the the whole thing as I did, all five... Oh, that was the... The main character was the actual... The main character, the guy, was the actual guy? Services, whatever it is. Um, he has a lot of problems. He's quite open about that. The, the question, I guess, which we'll come to, is how much of the way he depicts you is true. And your position is that it's just not factual. It's a work of fiction. It's a work of hyperbole, as I've always said. And um, th there are two true facts in that. His name is Richard Gadd, and he worked as a jobbing barman on benefits um, in the Holy Arms. And we met two or three times, that th those are the only Well, let's go facts. back to, let's go through some of these things. So, mm. you first met him, I mean, the, the, the show shows you coming in Get, to a Come on now, Peter. Come on, because I know you're going to do a good job. London pub, you just named the pub, mm. and he's working behind the bar, Richard Gadd, and he offers you a cup of tea. Is that what happened? No, that's not correct. Uh, that, but that pub that she just named, the actual pub, unlimited business from now on. It's going to be bussing. <laughs> it's going to have crazy business. Um, he didn't offer me a cup of tea. Nobody gets anything free from the Holly Arms. Um, oh, yeah. I was in for a meal with um, a drink of lemonade and I was very, very hungry. I'm diabetic, so very hungry. So that, that's And did you truth. talk to him? Um, he interrupted a conversation. There was another barman there. And he said, oh, you're Scottish, and basically commandeered the conversation. I, you know, I was talking to somebody. It's pretty rude to interrupt. So he seemed to be obsessed me with me from that moment onwards. I mean, just speaking to you, I never met you. Have y'all seen this? The, the this, yes, this is about Baby Reindeer. If you actually seen Baby Reindeer, I, 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 I don't believe her. She just looking like she's not telling the truth right now. You before? They need to get like a um a person. You know what's the um people that study body language? I but I don't believe her. But you do look and sound very similar to the actress in the I drama. <laughs> I haven't seen the actress. We're both Scottish. We've both got dark hair. Um, she's considerably younger than me. I think she's about 18 years younger than me. Mm. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 58. I'm a year younger than you. Mm. And I think Martha, Jessica, the actress, is about 40, mm. 38, 40. You don't think, ma'am. You know exactly how old that woman is. You know exactly how old she is. You said you've never seen her, but you just described her to a T. Come on now. Come on now. We're not dumb. We're not dumb watching. <laughs> okay. It's contradictory. It says in the show that you proceeded to return to the same pub time and again, but you never paid for a drink. I don't drink alcohol. And... Did you pay for anything that you had? Uh, lemonade or soft drink. Would he give you free drinks? Or? No, absolutely not. This is sort of a depiction of me as a pauper who wouldn't stand around or stand a drink. It's nonsense. It says that you told Richard Gadd that he looked like a baby reindeer toy you once had as a child, hence the name of the show. Yeah. Is that yeah. true? I, I, appear, I appear to have uh, written most of the show in my sleep. Um, I dressed um, the... Uh, Did you have a baby reindeer I toy? had a toy reindeer. So that's true. And he shaved his head. That bit is true. Mm. And there were reindeers in the shops. It was Christmas time or something. It was a joke. So I have inadvertently penned... So was the curtains. The curtain comment was a joke too. The name of the show. Right, but that is true. That's true, that's, that's a true fact. Um, so now three things are true about the show. The pub, his name, and the reindeer. Whilst bantering with you, Richard Gadd told you he'd like to hang your curtains, is that true? This, I think, was a holy arms joke about curtains and a lot of sexual innuendo. He did say that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now you know it's a joke. 
So that's four things that are true. Is it true that you caught Richard Gale looking through your window after he followed you home one False. day? False. False. You never saw him at your house? Um, I didn't see him at my house. I think it would be impossible to look through a window. Did anyone else ever see him there? So as far as you were concerned, he never turned up at your place? Correct. But, Correct. The, but the, the Netflix show has him doing that? Yes, I believe so. I believe so. I've been told that. You've been told that. Okay. Because I thought you knew nothing about the show, but you've been told everything about it. You've seen it. But that categorically didn't happen? That categorically didn't happen. In the course of your relationship with Richard Gadd, you send him 41,000 emails. God, oh my God. 41,000? 350 voice messages, 744 tweets, 48 Facebook messages, and 106 letters. That's simply not true. Um, if somebody was sending somebody 41,000 emails or something, they'd be doing how many a day? Lots. Well, they'd be obsessively Yeah, 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 absolutely not. Absolutely not. What none did you send true. him? No, none of that's true. I don't think I sent him anything. You never said him? You don't think? Anything? No. I, th I think there may have been a couple of emails exchanging, but that was it. Just jokey banter emails. Netflix, Netflix have said that these details are uh, the real ones. Mm. That this is, this is, this exactly is completely incorrect. I'm pretty... No, we got to have him on the show, Pierre. Pierre, you got to get him on the show. Like, we need to... I know he's still got it. So you're Where denying anyone... sending anything to him? Uh, there may have been a couple of emails. Text but messages? Uh, no. Facebook messages? No. Did you tweet him? Um, I may have done years and years ago. You it's... actually tweeted him numerous times. No, it wasn't numerous. It was about 18 tweets there or 14 tweets. That's numerous. Quite a lot to someone who's not that well known. But we were all friends. You know, we, it was banter. Right, but it establishes yeah. you were contacted. That's in public. Yes, I mean this. Uh, this Did you write him letters? Public. No, I think when I found, when I saw the rape interview, that's actually incorrect. What I said there, when I when I saw that in the Guardian, I said, "What a shame! It's not your fault." Something you like did that. write to him. One later, one later. It's a yes or no question. She says no, then she goes back and says yes. I don't believe her. One later. So, you you would say you only mm. sent him a handful of emails. Yeah. You never texted him? No. You tweeted him 18 times, you say. Didn't she say she wasn't on Twitter at the beginning? You never sent a Facebook message? Uh-huh. That's right. And you wrote in one letter? Yeah. So why have they got all these details here which are supported? Who is they, Netflix? Who has sent all these correct. things? So, I'm sorry? Who has sent all this stuff to him? I have no idea. I think he's probably made it up himself. I mean, you could prove, I guess, quite easily it wasn't you. Correct. Because it'd all be on your... Yeah, correct. Post. That's right. So would you be happy for someone to look at that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I you know, yeah. <laughs> what, what do you have? What, <laughs> what a lie! She couldn't even. She couldn't even pr produce a statement. She was yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on, ma'am. You know, let, let me replay it. Because it'd all be on your computer. Yeah, correct. Post. That's right. Would you be happy for someone to look at that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, yeah. Cut the cap. <laughs> Cut it out, man. What, what do you have? What technology do you use? Right, what technology do I use? A very, very old smartphone just now because the other one packed up a week before moving. That's it. Because they're all sent from an iPhone. Yes, yeah, so... But they believe it wasn't actually an iPhone ever being used. Meaning... What Meaning kind of that someone phone? was hiding the fact that they were actually not using it. it, it was, no, it was sent from an actual computer. She was just typing sent from an iPhone. Or pretending it was from an iPhone. I don't really understand that. Well, people can mask where they're sending stuff from. OK, uh, right. I'm not technology whiz kid of the year. I wasn't doing that either. I mean, obviously, when you make such an emphatic denial of the mm. central point of the story, you're basically accusing both him, but also Netflix of lying about it. I am. And that's, that's pretty defamatory. It's not defamatory if it's true. No, no, it's defamatory that they've been to oh, you. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, I misunderstood. Yeah, you could sue them. If this is the case, ma'am, I would have had my lawyers down Netflix's throat for, uh, for, um, what is it, uh, 
What's the what do you what's that what's the charge where they make you seem like you somebody that you not or say you do stuff? Dang. Nobody in the chat gonna say what that is. Depiction, defiction, the something. Yeah, yes, exactly, exactly. I don't see how anyone could do forty-one thousand emails and all this kind of stuff. You know. I don't know how much you know about technology, but are you aware that if it was you sending those emails? it would be very easy for the police, for example, to work out exactly where they come from. Defamation of character. It, that, that, yeah, defamation of character. The IP address yeah, would reveal yes, that. Yes, I understand that, and it stays on forever. But the point is, this was years and years ago. We were congratulating him. But it would, all st it would all still be there. Uh, yes, yes, I understand that. Yeah. And if you sent 41,000 emails... This is all... just a lot of rubbish. Yes, yeah, so that should be stored there. Well, they'd all be there. Yeah. I mean, he's got them. He's not got 41,000 emails. That's over a year. Well, according to you, there's only, there's only a handful. Take, yeah. Right? I mean, how long would that take someone to type up? How many do you think you sent him? Well, you personally, you know what I'm saying? Hey, good job, Pierre. You asking this question again to see if it wavers. A handful? Like, like that. What does that mean? How many? Uh, uh, less than 10. 10 emails. Not 41,000. Right, there's a massive disparity between the yeah, two. Yeah, things. I agree, I agree. I mean, if it's not you that sent all... I ain't gonna lie, it went to four to ten. This, ...then clearly Martha cannot be you. Yes, Martha cannot be me because there are a number of allegations that have been put to me by journalists mm. uh, that are simply not true. There's a whole play. It's not just the emails. There's a sexual assault in the canal. There's... But, but if, if, oh, you okay. if the police looked at this, mm -hmm. and if you sue, for example, mm -hmm. then this will go to a court of law. Mm -hmm. right. And then on discovery, people will look into all this. Mm -hmm. The phone company will be asked about evidence of all the text messages. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. internet providers will provide all the backup mm -hmm. for the emails. Facebook right. will be asked about the Facebook messages, mm -hmm. and so on. So all of this would come out in a court case. In disclosure, yes. And you're prepared to do that? Yes because I didn't write him the emails. Who do you think did? I have no idea. I think he probably made them up himself. I have no idea. Mm. 41,000 emails. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, would you, I don't know. would you accept that someone who did that would be uh, very obsessive? Not, what was that, man? I don't, ah, oh, man. Not someone. Yes. I she mean, literally looks like somebody that's sitting here trying not to lie. Like, no, 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 lying, but trying not to, to keep a straight face or something. A lot of emails, mm. and why? Why now? Why didn't you go to the police at the time? Or this sort of doesn't make sense. I mean, the fact uh, that Netflix have said this is based on reality. This is a true story uh -huh. that Martha did. The real life Martha, mm. the person they based this on, who Richard Gadd has written about, mm. is the person that sent these, mm. and he has the evidence to prove it. What you're saying is that that proves you cannot be Martha. Yes, and I would like to see Netflix's evidence for that, which would come out in disclosure as well. And you're 100% sure it's not you? Yeah, absolutely. It goes on to say that you heckled Richard Gabb when he was appearing in his stand-up shows. Did you ever do that? No. Never? No, it's not. Did you ever attend his stand-up? I think I went to one. It was a long, long time and ago. And you never shouted out or anything? Why would I do that? No. I, I think I went to one. Why is everything I think I went? It's either you know or you did. Yes and no. No, no, I mean... Do you, ever, do you ever do shout that? out at comedy shows? I don't know. People no, do. no, I don't generally go to comedy shows. Um, so but you no. never heckled him? No. Did you ever attack Richard Gadd's girlfriend because you were jealous? No, I don't think he had a girlfriend. I think he's uh, homosexual, but no, I have never... <laughs> no, because in the movie, because in the show, it's, it's funny. Okay. Never been to his house or attacked any girlfriend or anything like that. There are lots of scenes where Martha is uh -huh. sitting outside his house all day for right. many days, mm -hmm. sitting in a bus stop, sitting out there, walking around, and would occasionally shout at him. Did you ever do that? No. I haven't seen the show, uh, but I, I'm it getting... Seems like I have, so I'm I got, yeah. It seems like you have seen it. Yes, I got all the court allegations, mm. um, the trial allegations. Well, I'm uh, going to come to that, but yeah. on that point, did you ever turn up at his house? No, I don't know. I don't know where he lived. No, absolutely not. Look at the blinks. Look at the blinks. Point. Did you ever turn up at his house? No, I don't know. I don't know where he lived. No, absolutely not. So whoever's doing all this is somebody completely... Cat. Yeah, this is a 
fictional character, hyperbole, exaggeration. This is a figment well, it's based on, of his imagination. They say it's based on a real person. Who's they? Netflix. Well, Netflix oh, and ne Richard Gadd. Netflix Gad. are about as mad as Richard Gadd. If they're saying that, it's absolutely not correct. Did you ever contact Richard Gadd's parents and no, threaten them? No. That allegation was put to me by journalists, no. Never happened? No. There's one... Uh, well, no, what was you about to say? Put to me by journalists, no. Never happened? No. She was about to say, I think I did contact them one time. She was about to say that. There's one key point in the mm. drama yeah. that uh, has Martha's character pleading guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing. If you get somebody who studies body language, they're going to tell you. She's saying no verbally, but she's nodding yes with her head. She's no. No. Like, that's a. Like, come on now. We see you. This generation that we. I mean, we watch too much crime investigation TV. We know. We are. We are. We are criminal pathological investigators at this point. You're not getting nothing past us. Mm mm. Mm mm to intimidating Richard Gadd in court and sentenced to nine months prison time. Uh, let's watch. You are charged with the stalking of Mr. Donald Dunn between the dates of the 14th of August, 20... <laughs> this is our first time seeing it? Stop it, Pierre. Why are you acting like this? 15 and the 22nd of March, 2017. Are you guilty or not guilty? Guilty? <laughs> You were charged with the harassment of Jerry. Can we show this? Donald Dunn and Eleanor Dunn between the dates of the 6th of June 2016 and the 22nd of March 2017. Are you guilty or not guilty? Guilty? <laughs> My little read here. Now, again, the that's your first time seeing it, ma'am. There is a, obviously a resemblance between... Do you think so? Well, look, but <laughs> That's hardly flattery. <laughs> well, I, I... <laughs> ah, Pierre cutting up. Pierre acting bad on here, man. What do you mean? Why would you say that to that woman? I don't mean to fatty you or not fatty you. I just think there is a resemblance, you know, having... There is you, a resemblance, for sure. Speaks you know, Scottish people. Yeah. Um, but the fundamental point of this is, mm. did you... Did you did, Take part in that. Did you go to jail? Did you have no, a trial? No, of course not. Of course not. Have you ever been to prison? No. Have you no. ever been charged with no, any criminal either. offense? No. Never. No. Nothing. Nothing. So that scene is completely invented. That's completely false, and I don't think the actress sounds like me. I mean, people compare me to Lorraine Kelly, but I look nothing like Lorraine Kelly. We all happen to have dark hair, and we're Scottish. Mm. You know. I think the actress is from Glasgow, I think, but I'm not sure. But I'm they, and which part of Scotland are you from? I'm from the Central Belt. Um, the so it's a, a slightly different accent. It, it, it's slightly different. A Scot would know the difference. A Scot would know the difference, a Glasgow. But me, I wouldn't. Scott accent's very different. But that's a fundamental point mm -hmm. here, because if they basically have a key point in their drama, mm -hmm. which they say is a true story, which involves you admitting to intimidating mm -hmm. Richard Gadd and getting a mm -hmm. nine-month prison mm -hmm. sentence, and that is completely untrue. That's completely untrue. Very, very defamatory to me. Um, very career damaging. And I wanted to rebut that. You ain't got no career. From what we've seen, you was a captain. Completely on this show. I'm not a stalker. I've not been to jail. I've not got injunctions, interdicts. This is just complete nonsense. But it's, I mean, you'll know yourself if you're charged with a criminal offence, it will go um, fine bigger fine, whatever. Very few people go to jail. Well, you'd have a police record. Nowadays. Yeah. Have you ever changed your name? Uh, uh, my, my, my surname was double barreled. What was it? Uh, Muir Harvey. So, huh? Muir Harvey, when Muir, I... When, M -U -I -R, uh, yes, Harvey. when I got... Um, when the parents got divorced, I changed it to Harvey. I just dropped So your, your maiden name when you were born was... Yeah, that's right. Was Muir, Muir, yes. Muir Harvey. Yeah. So that's not quite an unusual name. Yeah. So if you'd ever received a criminal conviction for anything, it would yeah. be on police files. Yes. And what you're saying is you've never been even charged with an offence. No. Ever. Let alone the one that they... Yes, I mean, this is um, nine and a half months in jail. Is It's pretty serious. Did Netflix ever contact you? No, no one's contacted me. Never? Never. Did Richard Gadd tell you what he was doing? No, I had worked it out when I saw the festival Baby Reindeer 
advert on BBC the Edinburgh Festival, news, which the Edinburgh is the show Festival. You did. I just happened to see that. I was looking up the news for something else. But you gotta okay, so I get it that it's a true story, but like you gotta like bulk some of it up to make it interesting for viewers, right? You know what I'm saying? Like to make it all tie in and have a middle end and beginning, you know, right? Because that's where he. I just owned. happened to see that. Well, that's where he started telling the story, yeah. and that's got that got picked up. I was up. shocked. I was shocked, and I think Martha then was a bar stool. I seem to recall reading that it wasn't an actress or a person; it was a bar stool. Let me just show a little clip. This is. Oh, you are fully aware of everything, and you're trying to play it off like you didn't watch it, like you know nothing, like you're oblivious to it. You've watched everything. You've researched it all. Stop it. From Lorraine, actually, who you okay, just compared um, yourself to. But let's take a look at this. Well, other this people is, do. Actually. This is Richard Gadd on Lorraine. I just thought it was the right time to sort of try and bring a nuanced conversation to something. I yeah. think the human human condition is extremely uh, complicated, exactly. and, and I felt like a lot of the art and TV in this day and age. It, it... She's looking at him like I remember. I remember, baby, you're right there maybe simplified it too much. Mm. It's not a villain and, and victim no. storyline. I think you're left with a lot more than that. Oh, you actually don't look nothing like her in real life when she's really, you know what I'm saying? Kind of two lost people. What's your response to that? Um, I think they're milking it for all it's worth for the money. She doesn't even sound Scottish in that interview. Her accent seems to be varying. Well, well she's like, not. She's English. She's an actress. I was going to say, she's, it sounds more no, like she, she to me, she, yes. No, she's English. Which she's, had, uh, she's an actress. She's, she's putting that, on yeah, the voice exactly. for you. They're milking it for all they're worth. Um, it was the right time for to abuse someone on all over social media and all over, you know, basically somebody who's not, not from Lovey Land, not from Theatre Land, just abused me all over the newspapers. They're happy with themselves. What do you feel about Richard Gadd? I think he's, a, I think he's psychotic. And I think that anyone going along, being in that play and doing this to somebody, um, I, 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 find the, I find the behavior outrageous. He says the whole thing started because he felt sorry for you, mm. and that's why he befriended you. Your staff said that to me in the uh, the waiting room. Um, this is a lot of nonsense. I've got Pierre, be careful, because she do got that glass cup. You remember what she did to Buddy, and then he went on stage and had a mental breakdown? Be careful. Y'all got a good little bit of distance, so... Lots of friends. I what did you talk to him about? It, it was just a Holly Arms banter. It was... Uh, like what? Banter. What kind of uh, thing? You, what you're going to do with your life or, you know, career stuff, you know, sort of... And I thought he was a stand-up show. But is it, possible that he, is it possible he was under the impression that he felt sorry for you? No, I never got that impression at all. I, I got the impression that he was all out for himself, wanted to um, sort of control that bar, very, very um, um, inarticulate, very full of himself. He... I should never have gone in that bar. <laughs> Do you wish I... you never had? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. How long did you know him for, Richard Gadd? Brother. If you've seen the show, right, Remember the scene where he hit her, where she hit him with the glass, right? Okay. Remember how she was talking to dude and how it all led up to it? Like, ha, ha, ha. Oh, he's da, da, da. He's da, da, da. This is exactly how she sounded right here. This whole thing, that whole spiel that she just gave Pierre is exactly how she was sitting in the bar bad-mouthing him in that moment. Two, three months. Two, three months at maximum. He only worked there on certain days. And did you all And you knew the schedule, didn't you? What was going on the days he worked there? No, I've been in there on different days uh, having food. Have other people from the pub contacted you? Nobody's contacted me. No one at all? About this at all, apart from the media. The mainstream media and stalkers on social media. He says, Richard Gaddy, he didn't see you as a villain, but as somebody who is unwell and needs help. Yeah, well, he maybe he should look a bit closer to home. Um, to himself. He already did. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure he did. Someone who needs help. What, do you think he's mentally unwell? Yes, I think he always was. Whether there was a, an alleged rape or, or whether that rape... Rather, you think he always was, but... You, see, how do you gauge that? How do you get that understanding if you 
haven't spoke to him that much. If you're you're minimalizing the conversations that y'all had, so how did you infer that then? You know what I'm saying? Rape was real or conceived in his mind. I think that would make him more. I mean, that's a rape that he says happened. Mm -hmm. It was a a television uh, person. We don't know who it was. Mm. Uh, Somebody was falsely linked with it, who Mm. turns out to have nothing to do with it. But it's a very graphic scene in the drama where he is brutally raped uh, after a lot of drugs are taken. Um, And he's kind of very, he appears to be in the drama, very self reflective about himself. So he's no angel he's not perfect he's made right. lots of mistakes mm-hmm. and he didn't treat you in his eyes as a villain like he says as somebody he felt that you were both slightly lost souls um i didn't know the rape scene was in um the play until this morning somebody's daughter had watched it and told me about it so i was surprised once again well not surprised actually i'm i'm really surprised but everybody told you about the show come on now everybody told you about the show Every scene. I surprised by anything he does nowadays. Um, um, he seems to have written a couple of other shows about this alleged rape, then this one. And um, uh, we've had no apologies from Netflix or him or nothing. I mean, for someone who says he feels sorry for me, I've had no apology. And I have this Martha character seems to have smashed up a bar, um, sexually assaulted him in a canal, been to prison. Um, there are a number of other allegations there. And none of that is true. That's not true. He says that um, people shouldn't try to find out the identity mm. of the real people in the drama. Mm. Um, do you give him credit for that? This is, no, no. He I actually didn't. tweeted this. People no, what, uh, I love have I worked with and admire, right. including Sean Foley, who was the man wrongly uh-huh. accused of, of being uh-huh. the rapist are unfairly getting caught up in speculation. Please don't speculate on who any of the real life people could be. That's not the point of our show. Lots of love, Richard. Yes, I'm sorry. Richard, you gotta, but no, Richard, on some real stuff, you gotta, you gotta know the generation you live in. You gotta know what happens when true stories come out. People go digging. You know that's gonna happen. You, now I will say, Mark, this, you know that's gonna happen. Sorry, I can't see that the date of that tweet. I can't yeah, actually see that any was, of it. That was literally like a few days after it was released. Right. So. I, I saw the headline. It was all over BBC Breaking News two weekends ago for four days. Mm. Um, she know the exact number. With Martha promoting herself, the character Martha, Jessica, promoting herself, and him saying, don't speculate. Wow, that's a bit rich now, isn't it? The fans do speculate. Well, it was almost instantaneous. You were tracked down incredibly quickly. Uh, The Wednesday, the Daily Mail got in touch with me, so that was all over BBC Breaking News, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. I mean, the reason that internet uh, sleuths were able to to find out it was you was they found the tweets that you sent Mm. him uh, throughout 2014. How many did Um, they find? 10th of May, for example, 2014. Richard Gadd, did you get my recorded delivery letter sent to the theatre, sent to arrive bank holiday Monday? Mm. So you sent him a letter then? That, that was that, um, sorry you were to hear you were raped, right, something like that. Uh, 12th of June, same year, your tweets cheer me up, your timeline is good. 23rd of September, my curtains need hung badly. Uh-huh. We- Pierre reading them back is insane. We were trying to encourage him because uh, with this first show or something like that. You know, a long time ago. You know, so on the 18th of December, please go and see Richard Gadd's show. It's well written and neurotic. Yeah, yeah. The filmed bum shots are the best, fantastic yeah. ass. It was a joke. It was right. a joke. But that's, we were trying to encourage him. Nothing negative, though, about it there. Uh, no, because I didn't think he was a complete psychopath who was going to attack me in this way. But the show did involve you. Th- this this show here, not yeah. that show there. That made no reference to you. This was a previous show. It made no reference to you, that show. Which the one, show? The one you're talking about. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. So, you know, it's funny this is coming up now. My my view is it's all about the money. Mm. Yeah, the Martha Barstool Edinburgh Festival thing wasn't making any money. He'd mm. failed as a comedian, he'd failed as an actor, and therefore, let's make some money, sell this to Netflix. Um, I think anyone in their right mind. You had a group of guys on there in their 20s. It's actually a pretty good actor. Uh, I ain't gonna hold you. They don't believe it. Skip, what was your upbringing like? Um, I was gonna say standard Scottish, this is a thing in standard Scottish, Scottish countryside. 
Happy? I'm in a happy um, Yeah, yeah. Uh, impoverished, but um, middle class upbring upbringing, if you like. Any you know. siblings? I have a sister. My mother worked incredibly hard. My parents got divorced when I was nine, but she worked like a Trojan. Are either parents still alive? Uh, my mother is, yeah. And is, how does she feel about this? I've not talked to her about it. I'm, I'm hoping she'll have just seen the Scottish headlines and that's it. She's not an internet freak. Or anything but like she has that. no idea what's happened to you. Um, she she will know uh, bits. And she was very very angry with Laura Walker for doing the original article when I went for parliamentary. And you haven't selection. talked to your mother about it. Um, no, and that may seem strange, but I don't want to worry her. I'll tell her I've been on this show mm. when it airs. Mm. I don't want to worry her. Uh, let me ask you: The Sun reported an interview with mm. Laura Ray. Mm. Uh, who you've referenced to accuse you of inappropriate behaviour whilst mm. you work with her. Now yeah. the back. Okay, Pierre has done his homework, and I knew he would. The ground to this is that you came into contact with the late Glasgow MP Jimmy Ray, who died aged 78 in 2013, and his sister wife Laura, who was 62, when she was a former mm -hmm. Labour Party member. Uh, Mrs Ray said that uh, she gave uh, Aberdeen University law graduate you. You did graduate from Aberdeen? Yes, yes. With a law degree? Yeah. Uh, a trainee role at the legal firm MacPhail Lawrence so Partnership in true. 1997. Is that true? It was called L and L Lawrence. I think she forgets the name of her own firm. It was called L and L Lawrence. But, but that's all true. She gave you a trainee job. Uh, she lured me away from another firm. She headhunted me from another firm because she needed someone to do employment law. And I'm pretty good at employment law, so... She said that she had to sack you days later because mm. you were completely incapable of behaving yourself. I walked. Her staff were really, really rude to me. Um, most people, half the Labour Party, had been up there at one point or another and walked. Mm. She I'm not going to lie to you, ma'am. It's getting real tough. From the beginning, from the out beginning, I, I came in with an open mind, but, like, from the first couple of words, you made it hard. Now it's getting harder and harder, man. Pause. She then said that mm. following you leaving, uh, obviously mm. very quickly, mm. that you then harassed her. Mm. Uh, you were then, then known as Fiona Muir, obviously, mm. as you said, Muir Harvey. Mm. Um, Mrs. Ray said she was so frightened. Bro, what is up with this? She, mm, 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 mm. And She should mm. work as at a firm with person. She's reliving it in her head. She's, that, that's what she doing. Hmm. Mm, I did, dude. Mm. She's reliving it as we speak. Mm. Um, Mrs. Ray said she was so frightened she issued mm. workers at her firm with personal alarms. Mm. Um, you were then served an interim interdict mm. to stop you from contacting the lawyer or her politician husband. Um, record she that. messed up, I know, and I've still to speak to David about that, um, the author of that Daily Record article. Mm. She didn't. She messed up because I went into the Court of Session, the High Court in Edinburgh, mm. to get countrywide interdicts, uh, an interdict and an injunction in Scotland and England because I was going to move to London anyway. Um, she mucked up. Um, so you went into court to get them yourself? Uh, yes, against there was who? no need against Laura Walker and Jimmy Ray. But she said one was served on you. Yeah, that's that's nonsense. An interim so check this out. And well, again, that there will be a public um, record. Of yeah, that. absolutely. And you're what, saying that it was never served. Uh, what we think, she served the initial documents, and then oh, she, did. she might uh, no. Um, she, she served the initial documents mm. and then there was no hearing. She, uh, it wasn't minuted for a hearing. Mm. I said I would defend, but she mucked that up too. She didn't fill up a second initial document. She then didn't minute for a decree in absence. So there is no interim interdict in Scotland. Why, why would two people who have no con... She really did a lot too, huh? ...contact with each other at all. Mm. Um, Laura Ray mm. and Richard Gadd. Why would they both portray you as a very unpleasant harasser? I don't know why Richard Gadd has, but uh, Laura Walker, it was certainly because I was going for parliamentary selection. The two different, you get my point, two different people. Yeah, but Richard Gadd has Googled that. She's a lawyer. She, she, she says she knows too much about lawyers. She, she graduated from law school. That was the whole thing in the show, too. She graduated from law school. But during her career and... You know what I'm saying? She got to doing crazy stuff. Richard Gad, Gad has used that. As well, that's in the drama. The show. Is, is when they find out mm. that you had previously uh -huh. harassed this family. I haven't harassed that family. 
I didn't harass that family. And also I worked for her in 1987-88. The parliamentary selection wasn't until 2000. He Googled up the article because I knew he'd done that. Mm. I never went back to the Holy Arms. He was spreading it around Camden that, that, um, that I was a stalker. So, you, you, you're, you've never married? I know. Have, have you had relationships Boyfriends, yeah. with, with yeah. men? Yeah. I mean, if you don't mind me being pure. I'm Hold on now. Let me see. Because I've seen a lot of blinking, a lot of a lot of what's going on at the relationship. Boyfriends, yeah. With, with mm. men? Mm. She was boyfriend, yeah. Mm, yep, sure. I mean, if you don't mind, mind me being pure. I'm about. heterosexual. Yeah, I mean, how many, how many relationships have you had? I told the staff that relationships were out of bounds. A lot more than Richard Gadd has, I would say. Mm. I mean, he had a lot. Quite a few. Right. Well, I don't know if he had a lot. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how... But obviously, now you're going... Here's my yeah. point. Now you're going yeah. public. Then the men that you've dated over the years won't see this. Yeah. They'll be aware of it. They'll hear you. I don't think that... Shout out to Ricky for the, uh, for the tier one gift itself. If the, your next question is going to be, am I stalking them? I think the answer's going to be no. Well, no, I just wonder how, the, yeah. how do you think they would view you? I think they are going to think what I think about Richard Gad, that he's completely off his head. And I'm not worried about the current one because he's a lawyer and he... So you currently have a boyfriend? Me, yeah. He's a lawyer? Yeah. In Somebody go check on that man. Somebody go check on that man. Is she going to give a name? Because every time, because she's still blinking and doing this whole thing where I just think that. The lawyer and he. So you currently have a boyfriend? Me. Yeah. He's a lawyer? Yeah. In London? Doesn't matter where he is. Mm. Uh, long, you know, I'd long, rather. No, no, I understand, but how long have five you Five years, been, five years. You've been in a five so, year relationship? Yeah, so I don't. Five years. Okay. I, I ain't going to say nothing, but. So, so what does he think? I don't want this? to drag him in. He thinks this is horrendous. All of my lawyer friends do, all of my professional friends do, other people do, and um, people are being really sympathetic. Uh, people I don't know are saying things like, are you getting hounded in the street? You know, people are being really, really nice. I mean, after, Anyone who does know about this. You know, here's the thing. I don't know the truth. Mm. You do. Me neither, but it's, it sounds crazy. <laughs> And you've been emphatic in yeah. the number of denials you're yeah. making here. That's right. But many of those things that I've put to you can be proven. You're talking about emails and an email trail thing. All that. You know, all of that. You're obsessed with... Uh, sorry, I don't mean to be horrible. I'm not obsessed you're, with anything. You're, 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 you've gone on at length for a good 10 minutes. She's getting mad. This is the, hey, this is the Mark that we know. Come on now, Mark. About the emails. Well, only because yeah. the emails... Because it's so, a vast number. Well, mm. there's a huge number. And voice messages. The voice messages he's kept apparently, mm. and it and there he is was a, maybe taping me in the Holy Arms. I don't know if he's got any voicemail. But if he has three hundred and fifty voice messages and it's you, it doesn't mean the drama is true. Um, but is it possible he's got three hundred and fifty voice? Messages? I doubt that very much. I just don't think so. You doubt it? Yeah, I, I doubt it. I mean, unless but wouldn't he's been you be taping me? I mean, if you've never really contacted him. If he's he got could have three... been taping me in the Holy Arms, though. But if he's got 350... I've got coins. Yeah, but if these are on his phone... Yeah, it doesn't matter what whether they're on a phone, tablet, whatever they're on. I've not coincided. But I'm curious, him. why would there even be a possibility of him having that number of voice messages from you? Because he's crazy, he wants to make this up. I mean, I've not phoned the guy. I don't have his number. Yeah, but you're you're not sure that he hasn't got those? I think he... The only explanation for having a voicemail from me would be um, taping me in the Holy Arms. That's the only place... Or that you've left messages on his phone. That's the other explanation, which just didn't happen. You can't be sure? I can't be sure because I didn't have his number. Right, but you just said you weren't sure if these were your voice messages. <laughs> yeah, what I mean is somebody could be taping me, you know, somebody could have taped me in the holy arms. Right, on a dictaphone or something but if like he, that. My, here's my point to you. Is yeah. that That's are... a highly unlikely scenario, Martha. Um, and you can't expect us to believe that easily provable things yeah he's either got them or he hasn't yeah uh, yeah i mean we, we, and the emails, we'll be asking for disclosure of that but and the emails obviously mm -hmm. there'll be an ip address and that if that, yeah. if that mean, leads to you yeah i mean my point is though even if that were true mm. i didn't lunge at him across the bar i didn't I sexually assault him in a canal i didn't go to jail i understand so but here's, uh, here's my point to you yeah. here's my point to you fiona and i'm not trying to catch you out 
I'm not trying to trap you. I'm genuinely fascinated by this story. I watched the drama. I saw them declare it at the start as a true story. Mm -hmm. And I've seen the interviews since with all various people. Mm -hmm. And it's clearly a very complex situation, this. But unless I'm mishearing you, I think what you're saying is there is a possibility that you send a lot of emails no, and there's a lot of no, voice I, messages. I didn't say but that. But that it doesn't mean that you did the more serious things. Yeah, I am not saying at all that I sent loads of emails. Um, you maybe misheard, play back the interview. What I'm saying is a handful at most. If mm. if I did, congratulations about the show. But if he does have 350 voice messages... I know that he doesn't. And it's your voice. He doesn't. And everyone can now hear your voice. Unless he was taping me in the holy arms. Or, or he just kept them on his phone. I didn't phone him. You sound unconvinced, but no, I no, I'm not. I'm, I'm honestly, I mean, what? No. <laughs> you sound unconvinced, but no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm honestly, I mean, what? No. So, is your point that you are you challenging him to reveal this evidence? No, I, I just would, I would challenge him to leave me alone. Because you're calling him a liar, and you're calling Netflix. I didn't use lies. those words. I said the the, the story and um, the play, the the mm. Netflix show is not true. No, but if they say that you sent forty one thousand emails, well, they, they are completely wrong. All seven hundred forty four tweets. They're tweets. completely wrong. So they are lying. They are lying. Yes, OK, yeah, in effect, he is lying and they are lying. And in order for a dramatization to be true, mm. It's got to be, you know, the only defences are veritas, I'm telling the truth, um, or um, the whole drama needs to be true. They have built it as a true story, so has he, and it's not. Mm. It's blatantly not. Even if the email thing was true... You keep saying even if it's true. If it's not, I wouldn't even put it out there that it could... That, that just seems possibly is true. <laughs> it just sounds like possibly... But even if it is true, this didn't happen. The rest is not. So why what? would you qualify that? Exactly. Sorry, why would I what? Why would you suddenly qualify even if it's true? Right. Emails. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Right, but when you say even if the emails were true, I didn't send them forty-one. It doesn't. It doesn't emails. mean the more serious stuff is. Let me rephrase that. That's really what you're saying, right? I mean. I don't want to force you into saying anything yeah, you're not, that's I mean, not actually true, but it seems to me that it may be possible that you have communicated all this stuff with him, but that doesn't mean you did the more serious things. Yeah, yeah, it that, doesn't that's mean true. You, it doesn't mean you attacked his girlfriend. It doesn't mean you smashed yeah. up a bar. Yeah. It doesn't mean you did any of those things or threatened anybody. It just, yes, you had a relationship with this guy and you did contact him a lot. I knew this guy, I didn't contact him a lot. I've never said that in this interview at all. No, no, but, mm -hmm. I, but interestingly for me as an interviewer, and I'm just trying to get to the truth, you understand? That? No, no, I, I, I honestly I, I not trying to- I see that, it's your show. I'm yeah, not trying no, to trip you that. up, I'm, not, I'm just trying to get to the I truth. I see that. He, he has put his version out there and the- She's getting frustrated. World is watching. It's security out here, though. Absolutely. Millions what? and millions of people around the world have I had know. Richard Gadd's version. I know. And I'm simply saying to you that yeah. you, have a, you have a chance here, Fiona, I think, and take this any way you want, but you have a chance here to concede that some of these things might be possible, but that doesn't mean oh. the more serious things Yeah, happened. I mean, what I'm saying is... Because the more serious yeah. stuff we know is serious, right? If you were... A, yeah, if you were in the jail or something... If you were a violent serious, stalker or if yeah. you'd had a previous situation where you got this interim incident, which we know was served on you... No, it, it was not. Sorry to interrupt there. No, she has repeatedly maintained this over 25 years. Mm. I checked with the Sheriff Clark. Another lawyer checked with the Sheriff... Of course you checked. <laughs> You're Martha. Sheriff Clark, <laughs> we think that the, the previous mm. scenario happened. She does not have an interim interdict. Hmm. I think she's quite wrong. Okay. If the Sheriff Clark can produce that and say hmm. she didn't muck up and minuted for decree, why was I not served an interim if, if Richard injunction? Gad, if Richard yeah? Gadd is watching this, what's your message to him? Leave me alone, please. Um, get a life, get a proper job. I am horrified at what you've done. Hmm.
Richard got a bad. And you will categorically be taking legal action. Absolutely, against both him and Netflix. You, you said your boyfriend's a lawyer, so this yeah. can be done. He's not quickly. doing it. No, I'm not doing it. Somebody else is. But going have to you be instructed in lawyers? Uh, we've instructed them in part, but we want to explore all the options out there. There are a number of number of people to sue. We can't all be in ten courts all at once. So. Who else are you planning to sue? Uh, the Daily Mail. Anyone that, that's saying this is true and harassing me and um, that kind of thing. Mm. We, we, we have not had time to do everything. If, if, if mm -hmm. the investigation, if you sue and there's discovery mm. and it turns... If you plan to sue, why would you go on and do interviews, though? Because they can bring this back and, like, like, look, she said here, blah, blah, blah. Like, I wouldn't even go on no interviews if I'm planning in a suit. ...out that 41,000 emails mm -hmm. did come from a device belonging to you. Mm -hmm. How would you feel about that? I wouldn't be suing if I thought there were 41,000 emails out there. Mm. You understand how easy it is to find them? I understand completely. And that if they did exist, and you're categoric that they didn't, mm -hmm. it would... It would obviously. It wouldn't blow the whole you. case. It wouldn't blow the case against Netflix because, and it wouldn't blow the case against him. No, no, you might he's well make, have making out it's a true story. No, 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 if no. You see what I mean? I'm no, back no. to my original position. I, I understand, and I understand that it's obviously put your life into a very difficult. Them forty-one thousand emails is out there. They exist. They exist. She know they exist. Position. It's very. And, and their central claim that they made all this effort not to lead to you being identified, I don't think stands water. I don't think it stands water. To me, it's pretty, um, I could have, listen, I've been a journalist 40 um, years. I could have discovered it was you in about 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Once I'd watched Yes, that. I agree. I discovered it was me when I saw the, the BBC breaking mm. news, Baby Reindeer show at the Edinburgh Festival, mm. when I was Googling up just the news that day or the weather or something and this came up and it was he was holding up a placard mm. or a newspaper article MP's wife stalker all you need to do is google that then I saw the name of the show and I thought bloody hell what's he up to and um I tried to get a friend what's he up to those are how a lot of the emails started in the show to go see the show because she was based in Edinburgh, but she was on holiday. Um, nobody I know had seen that show um, either. Um, so I was really shocked. I was very upset for two or three days. And then the general plan of action among my close friends was, look, just, you know, let him get on with things. He's not going to be that damaging. You don't really know him. This will go away. <laughs> when Famous did you last, last have words. any contact with him? Famous last words. Years ago. Do you, years, do you remember when? Years ago, no. Um, I, I left the Holy Arms, didn't go back, and he was calling me a stalker and things. And there were various things happening in the Holy Arms. You know, other women were warning me about them and everything. Yeah. About him? About him and others with bad conduct. Pierre looking like, oh my God, this is really her. This is Martha across the table from me. He feeling like we all feeling like. Relation on. to the hundred and six letters that he. Pierre, had. you better than me. Because I would have like, if you watch the show, you know they depict you very well, like the, your mannerisms and everything, the way you speak right now, and like this is you. Netflix say <laughs> you sent. Well, here's my point. You've yeah. you you've admitted sending him one, mm. and that presumably was a handwritten letter. Could could it? Be, um, are, are you thinking I was maybe mistaken that I maybe did? And I've no, forgotten. no, no. I'm just saying if if we accept that the one that you admit to mm. sending is in your own handwriting, mm -hmm. he has another hundred and five letters in your Pierce, it's handwriting. Nonsense. It's yeah, but nonsense. Are, are you prepared for him to show that one? He's maybe and the forged things. I mean, people people forge a lot of things. You think he if it's a no, it's a no. You you. She's trying to point us in a different direction. That's what liars do. You know what I'm saying? They try to they try to give you get a, give you an out. They try to create another option. Like, well, if he, you know, he, he could forge it. Like, nah, buddy. <laughs> he, he, he could successfully write 105 letters to himself. Well, I certainly didn't. No, but you, you admit to sending one. My point is, if it turns out the other 105 are exactly the same handwriting. Wouldn't that point yeah, to I mean, maybe... we'd obviously bring in handwriting experts. I didn't do it. No you only, you only ever sent sorry. one letter. Yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't sent that guy 106 letters. Do you still email people? It, what, what do you mean? Do you send emails? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Do you have the same email address you've always had? Um, I, I had six at one point. Why? Um, hey, Pierre, that's not even... Come on, how many emails I got? Hold on, let me check. Because I got a lot of emails, too. I don't use a lot of them, but I, I got a lot. Just right here, I got one, two, three, four, five... I got six. Pierre, you probably got six, but that's a good question. Because I like to keep people on different phones and different emails. It's, six it's different emails. Uh, maybe four. I think it's four to six, yeah. It's, it's it four, easier. Four or it's six. easier. So you have some for your utilities, some for close friends, whatever. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, no. I get it. Yeah. The six is a lot. Is it? I don't, I don't think it is. Six email addresses. You don't know many people then. I know I know people with four or six emails right. addresses. I got six. Was it four or six? I can't remember. Probably six. How, ma how many do you use today? I had four phones. Um, I've got one today, but I only email select friends. And you had you have four phones? Yeah, um, two broke. They were very, very old. One was brand new and broke, and it's still to be returned to the shop. Mm. I like keeping people on separate phones as well. And maybe that makes me a maniac or a stalker or something, but if you've got somebody on... <laughs> Pierre! <laughs> Hey, oh my God, the straightness of bro face is insane. Wait. And maybe that makes me a maniac or a stalker or something, but if you've got... That that was a little... ...on separate phones as well. And maybe that makes me a maniac or a stalker or something, but if you've got somebody on... I think Pierre is genuinely scared. Pierre's... About your electricity say, bill or somebody on about some work or something. It's it's nice to keep it separate, you know. So um, I didn't do that in Scotland. You didn't have to, but the volume of calls. Do you, do you down think, here is, um, Fiona? Do you think mm. if somebody did send someone, yeah, forty-one thousand emails, three I think that's excessive. Say, obviously, yeah. Would, would that to you? Would that mean someone's stalking someone? Yes. Well, yes and no. I mean, it could be, you know, it could be your wife. It could be, you You know, you're maybe saying... Oh, mama, I ain't never sending my wife, girlfriend, nobody 41,000. I don't even think I can send one person 41,000 emails in a lifetime. So, no. Sending emails every day about the kids or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to call. 41,000 is a lot. That's how many a day? My maths isn't working this time of night. Um, it's but a it's lot. a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. And that doesn't necessarily mean they're stalking somebody. They could be great friends. You know, they could have been friends for 50 years or something. Was he ever your friend, Richard Gay? Uh, no. No. Staff asked me that as well. No, I don't think so. You had a lot of banter. So, right. That was my next question. So why was there so much banter amongst some person that's not your friend? I don't joke with people that ain't my friend. So with him. Yeah, but banter's one thing. Scottish banter down here is quite kind of welcome you know it's not really it's not really fun city is it it's not jokey city were you ever in love with him yes is that a serious question yeah no no it's not a question of by his own admission mm. he has yes. said that he led you on at times and he clearly I gave was... him the brush off. He asked me to sleep with him with a big green spot in his face one day I said no I'm sorry I'm not interested was that the Backdoor one that we just he asked you to do what he asked me to sleep with him. He said, Would I like my curtains fixed? And I laughed and he said, That's a euphemism. Do you want me to come home with you? And I said, I've got a boyfriend. I so, gave him the brush off big, well, big time, I think. You know, why, it's subtly, why? subtly so, but the bottom line is, I think fancy? this is behind him. No, I don't fancy cut the cap. <laughs> I don't fancy little boys without jobs. <laughs> That's exactly how you was talking talk down on him at the, you know what I'm saying? And here's Martha, guys. That sounds awful. That sounds really, really callous, but, you know. People will watch this. You've watched the Netflix series. Mm. Uh, yes, 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 we will. Say it, Pierce. And like me, they, they, they will be trying to work out mm. where the truth lies. It seems to me that either you're innocent, mm in the way that you've mm. claimed to be, and you've been horribly defamed mm -hmm. here. I think at the very least... Defamed? Girl, you're famous now. The Netflix duty mm. of care and Richard Gaz's duty of care has been a spectacular failure. I agree. Right, regardless of anything else, regardless mm. of your culpability of anything, the duty of care has failed because people identified you incredibly quickly. So they've made this what they say is a true story mm. 
and everyone's worked out it's you mm. and the picture they paint is of a, a, a completely crazed stalker mm. ruining a man's life. Mm. Albeit he accepts that some of his behaviour may have led mm. the person on. Can I ask a question? Do you happen to know how much he's made out of this Netflix thing? I would imagine several million pounds. Millions. Yes, I, I yeah. would say three to four million. A lawyer I know well thought he was a wee nobody and he suggested 750 to 100,000. I said, no, I think you're looking more about three or four million. And I think the more he publicizes, um, it goes up, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, according to how, how much it's streamed. I don't know, I don't know what the contract they signed. I think he's done bloody well out of defaming Do you, do you resent that? Um, I don't resent any Scott getting on. This is not what this is about. Um, but he's effectively making money out of what he he's says. He's making money out of what my misery. What he says is you yeah. stalking him. Yeah, he's making money out of untrue facts. He's been the ultimate misogynist. The actress Ow, was also slowly. not appealing for calm. He was appealing for calm. I think he did that to sort of stir things up more. Um, I think they knew exactly what they were doing. And I think your staff were talking about uh, Martha, the sequel or something mm. like this. The sequel? How? It's just... It's, it, 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 like, the first one could be based on a true story. It could be a true story. But after that, like, it's pretty much done, it seems like. Everything that comes after it is all fictional. It's completely That's what people crazy. are hinting at. It's completely crazy. Well, your staff put that to me mm. and put to me, should I write a book about this? Well, I've got other things to do, but... Um... Girl, if you... Hey, listen, you better go write you a book. Right, do something. You had to capitalize. Put an M in your pocket, too. She too uh, furious about it's it. It's a possibility. Mm. You, you got a law continues. degree. Yeah. Law degree. So you're obviously very bright. How did you do at school? I've got a photographic memory. I was top of the school, apart from the science. Um, I which think which the, school was the, that? Uh, Balfour High. I went to the science um, person got the most marks because you can get 99% in the How many O and A levels did you, did you end up with? I got six hires, uh, two X S S Y S and they were all sort of, most were A band ones, which was when, when the A band one was top of the thing. I was, and with your law degree, what did, what grade did you get? Not bad, I mean, oh, all oh, right, what you was know. It? Uh, well, I just did an ordinary degree and then a diploma in legal practice. Well, what grade, did what grades did you get degree. from? Um, all right grades, all right grades, but you know what? Well, Pierce wants to know specifically. I well, went out well, what, part, what were partying. It would, I didn't do an honours degree, so, you know, just bog standard well, grades, what, really. What degree did you, you did a law degree? Or? I did a law degree with 13 subjects. 13 law subjects, so it wasn't the CPE or anything, um, which I also have from down here, but uh, mm. it was 13 law subjects. This is from Aberdeen University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what degree did you end up with? A law degree, and then I did a politics degree after that. And what grade politics, did you get Politics, women's studies. Um, I did substantially better in that. I didn't know. <laughs> Why is she ignoring the question? What did you get, ma'am? Work, you know, I think in our day, when you went to university, you didn't... There's a reason, you say you got a photographic memory, but yeah. what, what grade did you get? Good question. Uh, all right, grades. I mean, not top of the year or anything. No, no, but you, all right you get given, you, when you do a degree, you get a... Yeah, oh, you're asking me what marks I got for 13 subjects. I can't remember. Well, no, you but, end up with it. Did you get a first class You degree? got a photographic no, but degree. I said I didn't do an honest yeah. degree. I yeah. wanted to go out and practice, so it was an ordinary degree I did. Right, but you can't remember how you did. I, I did all right. I didn't do mm. top of the year. Mm. But you're, the, the other graduates at the same time, they'd all remember you. Some of them remember me. One of them did incredibly well. He's a high court judge. Mm. Uh, some people didn't do well. I think the general idea in the 80s was we didn't really do much work. That sounds absolutely awful. But, you know, that was kind of the 80s. If it came to it, would you, would you take a lie detector test? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh, my God. Now, that is funny. She was, yeah. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Did, you, did you take a lie detector test? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, would, I would not. Oh, that is funny. She said, I'm doom da boo dee da boom da dee da dee. Come on, girl. You don't, you don't want that. <laughs> would you, did you take a lie detector test? Yeah. 
Yeah, possibly, yeah. I would need to consult other lawyers about that. If we that. set one up, you would do it? A lie detector test for what? You know, I might well, no, stop the, the for police, a moment. As you know, the police use them. Um, they're just From an yes indication. They use work. them for mass murder and things like that. Um, <laughs> Well, no, they actually, they yeah. use them in many um, cases just to determine whether they think someone's telling the truth. They don't use them that much. I know you've done the programmes of women behind bars and mm. things. I, I, I confess, I think I've just seen one. But it's not used that much. Well, look, I'll be honest with you. I have a thing. Since yeah. you've mentioned it, like, I've, done, yeah. I've done a lot of crime interviews with people who've committed mm. way worse offences than what you've been accused yeah, of. Yeah, I haven't seen um, I know you have. You know, way, way more. Mass murderers, serial killers and so on. And, it, you know... They're all, I've got to say, almost all of them are very good liars. Could it be, people she's will be asking this, liar. watching you, thinking, either she's genuinely innocent here, mm. or she's a terrible liar who is capable of all of these things. I don't lie, and um, I, I tell white lies if I absolutely have to, like mm. when my 94-year-old ex-neighbour was dying. We all knew she was dying and I'd phoned her in the hospital the night before and I lied and said, you know, have a good sleep, everything's going to be fine and that. You know, you know so I'll tell a white lie like that. When, Why was that the example? When somebody clearly needed some rest and... How many, how know, many times did you meet Richard Gay? Don't know. What would you guess? Five, six. Maybe five, six times. That's it? Yeah. In your life? Yeah. How do you think it's come to this? If that's all true... I think he wanted to make money. I think he picked on somebody. There was well, a backstory you... there with that stalker article out there, right? So stalking's in vogue, going to prison's in, vo in vogue. Um, what do writers say or English mm. lecturers or something? Write about what you know. And to people who are watching, look down the barrel of yeah, that camera. I'm looking... To people who are watching this, and who still doubts you, what do you say to them? I think you should watch this. I think you should look at the number of articles that Richard Gadd and Jessica, the actress, have done and how Netflix and he have promoted this. Um, I think you should look at um, him saying, I am some sort of mental case and judge for yourselves because I can't... All right, well, judge for myself, I will. And at this moment, I agree. You are... I'm, I'm going to have to agree with the show. It happened 100%. I ain't going to say too much because I, I don't want this to get, you know what I'm saying? But I, I will judge for myself because you asked me so kindly to judge for myself. And the judgment passed down is that you are guilty. Change your mind on this. Um, I can just rebut what has been said. You need to make up your own minds. But my mind is made up. up. He's a liar. And my friends say likewise. Fiona Harvey, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Oh, my God. She's lying. <laughs> I don't believe it. She's a terrible liar, too. TLL, leave a like, comment, I'm gone.